Hey, what's up, y'all? It's T here. Uh, I've just finished watching uh, Monday Night Raw. Let me tell you, I missed the first hour. If I, you know, because well, if I would have caught Gray Kali and Hornswoggle tagging against the Hard Times team, I would have punched my wall. I would have probably done that. But it doesn't mean that um, the rest of the show was just bad, 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 and you know, all these unfunny sketches and everything else. It just really put me in a really bad mood. And capping off, you had CM Punk and uh, and CM Punk and John Cena. And I was like, oh joy, I have CM Punk get beat down in two or three minutes and, you know, STFU, take mask off, everyone go home. But that didn't happen. What did happen is Wade Barrett slowly walking toward the ring. And, you know, at first I was like, you know, I was wondering what Doc Pepper was probably screaming like, John, don't look at the entrance ramp. Ah, it probably drove him crazy a little bit. But then, um, after that, you saw Michael Tarver. First I thought, wait a minute, that's Morgan Morby. Is he joining the SC, uh, Stranded Society? No, and then, bam, they just started attacking people. They, more and more next team, I started attacking everyone. Attacking. Uh, Stranded Society. Um, they attacked uh, Striker. They attacked um, Kane. I don't know what hell Cole went. I think he just rolled out. And um, NXT guys just went to town. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Whoo, that was crazy. Crazy. I enjoyed it. I mean, just wow. I mean, to me, this is probably going to be really a forgettable role. I mean, I mean, you know, that's all. But this was very good. It very suspenseful. It left me some really um, positive hope. It left me it's like, this is going to be great. This is going to be probably uh, something major, something. Why are they helping Bay Barrett? Why are they wearing those ends on their sleeves? What do you mean they're rookies or what? Hopefully these questions will be answered, and I hope, I really hope they don't fuck this up. Please, because I want something positive, and the WWE needs something new, interesting anyway. I mean, maybe this is probably going to be the New Blood version 2.0, maybe done right. I don't know. But hopefully it's going to be good. Because I don't want to have it something like, oh, God, this is going to be bad. This is like something to start off no more. Like, you know, something great ultimately turns to crap. And, well, we sit and bitch about it. But here's hoping that WWE actually realize, saying, you know what? We need to get some new stuff in here. We got to get some new blood here. We need to get these new guys in. And, you know. Maybe except Otunga, because the guy can't do anything right. But uh, anyone else, you know, maybe keep them around. Uh, that sort of thing. Favorite part was of the whole thing. You see Justin Roberts getting choked out. I don't even mind Justin Roberts. I think he's a pretty good ring announcer. Uh, you know, uh, but you know, it was like, wow, this guy got choked out. Cena, as much as he may, took everything. And just, you know, got his head kicked in, spit on, kicked in, punched out, and 450, you know, that sort of thing. Now, the question is, how is this going to play out? Is Wade Barrett going to use this as a stepping stone game to the championship? What is this going to do for the four-way? Because I think Gordon, I think he's going to be injured. I think they're going to groom... Evan Bourne for that place, or maybe Wade Barrett. Who knows? That this is going to be a very interesting time. Very interesting stuff for the WWE. Um, hopefully, this might be something really positive, and I hope something really positive comes from this. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Big CT here. Peace, love. I'll see you when I see y'all. Um, peace, and I move my camera back a little bit more. Uh, my webcam. Hopefully, I don't mind. Um, Peace.